viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. On the occasion of the wedding of Her Highness Princess Iman to Mr. Jamil Alexander Termiotis, the Regional Director of Nursat Office Jordan and Palestine, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, and the team extend their sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II and Her Majesty Queen Rania Abdullah, wishing the newlyweds a life full of happiness and bliss. Now let's start with the headlines. King Abdullah, Jordan cannot move forward without the active role for women. The Holy City celebrates completion of restoration work in the Zion Attic. The Coptic Church in Amman celebrates the 32nd anniversary of the ordination of Father Antonio Subhi. We also have the International Greek Orthodox Patriarchate Schools of Jerusalem in Fahis honored the student Marcel Smerat for winning in the World Gymnastics Championship held in Dubai. Welcome back. His Majesty King Abdullah II received at Basman Palace the credentials of the Holy See's Ambassador to Jordan, Monsignor Giovanni Tozo. The accreditation ceremony was attended by Royal Hashemite Court Chief Yusuf Hassan al isawi and Minister of State for Prime Minister Affairs and Acting Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate, Dr. Ibrahim Ijazi. It is noteworthy that the new Apostolic Nuncio was born in Italy in the year 1964 and has a PhD in Philosophy and Theology. On the occasion of International Women's Day, His Majesty King Abdullah II expressed pride in the role of Jordanian women and their achievements, stressing that Jordan cannot move forward in the political, economic and administrative modernization path without an active role for women. His Majesty said that women are key partners in Jordan's development, stressing the importance of providing all means to empower them, increasing their participation in economic sectors and enhance their position in leadership and administrative fields. The Muslim Council of Elders and the Department of Interreligious Dialogue signed a memorandum of understanding at the headquarters of the Vatican Circuit for promotion of interreligious and intercultural dialogue. The Vatican Circle was represented by its Dean Cardinal Miguel Angel, while the Council was represented by its Secretary General, Councillor Mohammed Abdesalam. The agreement provides for the formation of a permanent joint committee for dialogue between the two sides, in addition to agreeing to hold annual meetings in order to coordinate joint efforts and initiatives that promote dialogue among followers of different religions and the cultures around the world. Cardinal Miguel expressed his appreciation for the efforts of the Muslim Council of Elders, headed by the Grand Imam Ahmad al-Tayyib, Sheikh of al-Azhar, highlighting the historical relationship between Pope Francis and the Imam of al-Azhar, which has become a source of inspiration for millions of religious people around the world. The Church of Our Lady of the Copts in Amman celebrated the feast of Pope Kirillos in the 32nd anniversary of the priestly ordination of Father Antonio Subhi Hanna, pastor of the church. With the participation of a number of priests and deacons and the presence of a large group of parishioners in Jordan, the celebration that was revived by the Parthenus Choir was preceded by Divine Mass presided over by Father Anthony in the presence of a large crowd of believers. In the homily of the Mass, Father Anthony expressed his thanks to everyone who accompanied him in his priestly march and to everyone who attended the celebration. On the occasion of International Women's Day, the General Authority of Scouts and Guides of the Latin Archdiocese held a celebration in the Hall of Joseph's Church in Jabal Amman. The celebration, which was held under the slogan, Live Your Life the Way You Want, was sponsored by Dr. Basim al Sam'an, the Regional Director of Nursat TV in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine. In the opening speech, Al Sam'an stressed that the Church Scout movement is of great importance in developing the girl's life and refining her personality for the future, noting that women are a major part of society and a partner in construction and renaissance. The ceremony included the presentation of many paragraphs and speeches about the importance of Scouts in the life of women and their leadership role and status in society. The celebration was attended by a number of rosary nuns and influential leaders in society and a group of invitees. On the other hand, and in appreciation of the efforts of Nursa Jordan office by covering the activities of the first Arab and second Jordanian doctor conference, Dr. Maysa Makrush, president of the Jordanian Women Doctor Conference, and Dr. Suha Khalifa presented an honorary shield to the director of the regional office of Nursa Jordan and Palestine, Dr. Basim al Sam'an, for her distinguished efforts in media coverage of the activities of the conference held recently in the capital Amman under the title Prevention, Leadership, and Challenges. During the meeting, which took place at Nursat's office, Dr. Sam'an stressed the importance of the role of women's empowerment in the media and the need to pay attention to the coverage of church news in the kingdom. For her part, Dr. Akrush expressed her thanks to Nursat TV and said, the presence of Nursat crew was very important during the conference session that paid attention to Jordanian women in line with the royal vision. 
It is noteworthy that the conference that was attended by Dr. Sim'an at the King Hussein Club launched the Royal College of International Women Leaders program with the aim of empowering women in various fields, especially in the medical field. With the blessing of His Beatitude Archbishop Christophorus, Greek Orthodox Metropolitan of Jordan, the Fraternity of St. Constantine and Helena, held in Majl al-Hammam its annual breakfast on the occasion of Mother's Day, in the presence of the spiritual head of Zarqa and North Jordan, Archmandrite Athanasius Qaqish. In an atmosphere of intimacy and love, Father Qaqish presented a spiritual talk entitled How to Live Fasting, in which he referred to the most prominent achievement of brotherhood for the past year, which would not have been achieved without continuous support of the parishioners of the brotherhood and its activities. The fraternity also announced during the breakfast the launch of Baraka Initiative, which aims to help the largest possible number of needy families on a monthly basis. The second Sunday Mass of Lent was held in the Church of the Apostle Paul for the Latins in Jibeha. The Mass was presided over by parish priest Father Samarim Danat with the help of Father Ala Ba'ir and with the participation of the parish choir led by Hanin Jad'un and the presence of a large number of believers. In the homily of the Mass, Father Danat mentioned that Christ transfigured for his disciples in order to encourage them to complete the march towards Calvary without fear or hesitation, to reach with him the glory of resurrection and by becoming the new man who is resurrected for the new life. In the Holy Land, and on the occasion of the completion of the restoration work in the Zion Attic in St. Mark's Monastery, the Syriac Orthodox Patriarchal Vicarate held an evening of spiritual hymns performed by the Choir of Jesus Christ, who came from Italy, where the choir filled the hearts of the attendees with an atmosphere of spirituality entitled with peace. This evening, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, is the first that began in the monastery of St. Mark, followed by several spiritual evenings in the different places of the Holy Land. The celebration was attended by the bishops of the Jerusalem churches, priests, nuns, monks, and a large crowd of believers. Under the patronage of the French and Belgian ambassadors in Amman and within the international celebration of the French Language Day, students of the schools of the Greek Orthodox Patriarchate of Jerusalem in Amman, Fuhis, Madba and Hanania, presented in the hall of the church of the entry of the master into the temple in Swafiye, artistic performances of plays and poetic and lyrical paragraphs in French. The celebration also included many speeches on this occasion, where it was attended by a number of priests and delegates from the Romanian, French and Lebanese embassies, in addition to a number of officials and educational figures and the parents of the participating students. The International Greek Orthodox Patriarchate Schools of Jerusalem in Fahis honored the students Marcel Smerat, who won three gold medals and a cup in the World Gymnastics Championship held in Dubai. The reception was attended by the administrator of Mahas and Fahis Brigade, Sattam Al Majali, and the mayor, Omar Akrush, and the director general of the Patriarchate Schools, Lynn Danat, and a number of religious, official, and civil figures. The attendees expressed their pride in the achievement of the students Smerat and wished her more success and progress in raising the statue of this country. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. King Abdullah, Jordan cannot move forward without an active role for women. The Holy City celebrates completion of restoration work in the Zion Attic. The Coptic Church in Amman celebrates the 32nd anniversary of the ordination of Father Antonio Subhi. The International Greek Orthodox Patriarchate Schools of Jerusalem in Fahis honored the student Marcel Smirat for winning in the World Gymnastics Championship held in Dubai. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.